Hello guys, uh, welcome to the next video. In this video, I'll be talking about factors in R. So what are factors, right? First of all, I'll be going through the important points about the factor in this notepad file. Uh, and then it is followed by the practical part, uh, which I'll be covering up in the console. I've already have opened up my R console here. Let's first talk about the important points about the factors. So factors can be defined formally like it's a data structure which is used for the fields that take only predefined finite number of values. In other words, we can call, call it as categorical data. It means uh, the factors, we use it for the categorical data. And in the factors is a concept of levels. So what are levels? Levels are nothing but the possible values that we know beforehand and these predefined distinct values are called as levels. We'll see this in a while. What are the, what's the meaning of levels with the help of example? We can check if the variable is a factor or not using the class function. I've already have covered the class function in my other video as well. So similarly, the levels of a factor can be checked using a levels function, levels function, right? So now let's see how we can create a factor. We can create a factor using a function called factor in which we have now in here in this uh, notepad file, we have taken two examples of a factor. First example is, is a regular factor in which we are passing single, married, married, single are the four values available. Uh, in next one, we have, it's a just extension of this, this previous example in which we have specified levels are from our own side. The levels of this will be single and married. So what are levels? Let's suppose we have a column available called gender. It has got multiple entries of males, multiple entries of females, but there are only unique two entries, which is male and female only. So it means that for gender column, there are two levels which are male and female. In the same way, in this case, there will be two levels only because single and married has been repeated two times. So single and married will be the two levels. But in the second example, we have specified three levels from our own side, single, married and divorced, right? Let's talk about these points now with the help of practical. I've already have opened up this. Let's suppose this is how we can create a factor using the same example, which I've taken on this notepad file. So when we printed the value of X, it is uh, printed like single, married, married, single and uh, the levels are married and single because the married and single are only two unique or distinct entries available here. Uh, if we try to check out uh, the, if the variable is a uh, factor or not, we can check with the class function. Yes, it's showing as a factor and levels can be printed with the help of levels function, which are married and single only, right? Now let's come back to this notepad file. The next point which I have written here is like factors are closely related with the vectors. We already have covered the uh, vectors. Uh, in case if you haven't watched that video, I'll put this video link in the description box of this video. Uh, in fact, the factors are stored as integer vectors. Let's see this in a, with the help of one example. In the same example that we have taken here is like we have this factor available called saved in X. If we try to find the structure of the X, it is showing like this uh, response. So you can see it here in this case that uh, the, the levels are stored in a character vector, right? Uh, and the individual elements are actually stored as indices. So this clearly proves uh, that uh, the factors are very much closely related with the vectors, right? Now the factors are also created when we read non-numerical columns into a data frame. Again, the data frame topic I've already have covered uh, in my one of my video, I'll be putting up the link as well. You know, data frame is nothing but a kind of tabular structure that we have a structural information available in the form of rows and columns. Uh, for this, we use the data.frame function. So when we call data.frame function, by default, it converts the character vector into a factor. So it, it automatically convert uh, behind the scene. So what if we want to suppress this behavior, we have to pass the argument strings as factor equal to false. So it will it will uh, restrict, it will not let it happen, right? This is the, these are the important points about the factors. Now let's come back to the practical part and let's start with the first important uh, point, how we can access the components of a factor. We already have this X as a factor available. Let's, let's suppose I want to access some element. Let's suppose three, let's see what happened. It is showing like married as expected. Now let's suppose if you want to access more than one element, this is also allowed here. We can do it with the help of combined function. So we are passing here two comma four, two comma four. We are passing it here. It is showing married and single. If I want to use the negative, uh, uh, if, if I have to use the minus here, minus one, what it means, let's suppose I'm getting now minus one. It means that access all elements, but the first element. We can also specify with the help of a logical vector as well. How, let's see. Let's suppose we have this, uh, again, using combined function, I'm passing uh, here, true, right, comma, false, comma, 
false comma true right this is a logical vector we have defined here so let's see what happened it is showing single and single so in this case we are making use of a logical vector right this is the mean this is how we can access the elements of the or components of a vector how we can modify a, a vector right let's suppose uh, i want to now add in this x uh, at this position i want to add here let's suppose divorced right let's suppose i'm adding it here divorce this is how we can modify the elements now in this case i got this uh, uh, message that uh, invalid factor level na generated what it means if i again try to print this now it is showing na here what happen actually because the divorce is not a part of the levels so it is not allowed here right that's why we got this so how we can overcome this problem we can overcome this problem if we can add a value to the level first let's see it here let's suppose we have a levels function we already know levels are uh, levels doesn't contain the uh, divorce that's why it's not allowed here so what we can do we can use like this levels x now we are we're going to add here with this uh, help of combined function levels x and we am i'm also adding here this divorce let's suppose comma divorce all right so it is done so if we can now uh, call this levels again i got divorce as well now what i want to do i want to now add i want to run this thing again okay this one now you can see it here if i can call this x i'm got the divorce available right this is how we can modify the elements of the factor i hope you must have understood the concept of factors in this short little video we have covered what is factor and how we can access the elements how we can create how we can check whether the variable is factor or not and these little things right i hope things are clear in case something is not clear please let me know uh, i'll be welcoming your comments right thanks for watching guys see you next video